History held last night in Oregon's first congressional district. The Democratic Party's 35 year run in the seat will continue with Suzanne Bonamici's big win. My co anchor, Alexis Del Cid, is live at Bonamici headquarters this morning in Beaverton. Alexis, a big win, but she doesn't yet know when she gets to start on the job. She'll probably find out today from the leaders in D.C., but take a look behind me. You can see her campaign office is all but cleared out this morning. Uh, you can still see the signs up there, but the room behind it is empty. Now, it might not stay this way, though, Chad, because if she wants to hang on to this seat, she's got to run again in November, which she likely will. She's going to be replacing Representative David Wu, who resigned in that sex scandal, and to hold on to her seat again November. So campaign 2012 continues. Rob Cornelis, who hasn't ruled out running again, says the campaign was tough with big money from the National Democratic Organization. The climb became more steep for me because of the amount of money that the other side threw into this race to essentially uh, mischaracterize me, distort my record, even in some cases uh, speak falsehoods about things that I've done or things that I've said. Of course, Bonamici disputes that. She says she won because of what she stands for, her plans and her plan to create jobs and her background. Either way, again, this is until November, and if she wants to hang on to this seat, she's got to run again, so campaign 2012 will keep going. You can expect to see signs like this for quite some time. Reporting for you live in Beaverton, Alexis Delsid, Coin Local 6.